Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you how to clone a new repository on the command line and then change some code on your computer and push the changes back to github.com on the command line. Last time we did that with Visual Studio, today we're gonna do it on the command line. The main thing I'm gonna do differently from other tutorials that are already out there is talking about authentication, which people seem to skip over, but it is important when you work with private repositories. So let's go. First, if you don't have a GitHub account, create one, but if you do have one, just sign in. So let's sign in together, sign into your GitHub account and go to your repositories, just like last time. So if you have a repository you wanna clone, you can do that, but let's go quickly through creating a new repository. So let's call it new repo, some description, make it private because if you can do it for a private one, you can definitely do it for a public one. And let's add a readme file. This is the file we're going to change and then push back to github.com. Create repository. So now we have our repo. And just like last time, what we would do is choose a method of authentication, copy the URL of the repository to clipboard. So for HTTPS, it's this one. And then we go to our command line and make sure you have a folder for the repo ready. So a destination folder. Again, I'm going to use this GitHub test project folder. So we can just go there on the command line by doing cd. That's GitHub and then test project. And then we see it's empty. And now to clone the repository, we're gonna type git clone and paste the URL we just copied. And here we have to type our GitHub account name. And now it's asking for a password. So GitHub has discontinued the support for your regular path password authentication uh, two years ago, I think. So now you need to create what is called an authentication token. So what you're going to do, go up here to settings and then scroll down and go to developer settings. And in the developer settings, you can go to personal access tokens and classic tokens. And here you can generate a new token. So let's generate a new classic token and we're going to put a note. So token for tutorial. You can set an expiration, so let's set no expiration, and then you can give it some permissions, but for the purpose of this tutorial, let's just give it the basic repo permissions and then generate the token. Importantly, you can only see this token once, so make sure you copy it and save it somewhere, maybe in your password manager, and then you can go back to the command line and paste the token. So make sure you have it saved somewhere because you can only see it once. And now we clone the repository. So let's do ls, the new repo is there. So let's go in there and there's the readme file. So in the readme file is the text that was created upon creation of the repo, but we want to change it and then push the change back to github.com. So let's open it in whatever editor you want. I'm going to use Visual Studio and we're going to add new line of code. And we're going to save the file, close our editor. And then what we can do now is what I like to do first is git status. Git status will show us what has changed and can potentially be committed. So we have the readme file that changed and to stage it for commit, we need to do git add. So that is always the first thing we need to do. So git add, you can do git add dot, which stages all the files that have changed in the current folder but I like to actually just put the file that changed and be a little bit more specific. So let's do that. And then we can do git status again. And we see now it's in green and it is ready to be committed. So the next thing we do after adding is always committing. So we do git commit minus M and write a commit message. So first change on local machine. So this is our commit message. We can now hit enter. And now we can do git scatter status again to always check what's going on. There's nothing to commit. We committed it. And now we can do git push. And again, our username and paste the token we just copied. And it now pushed it to github.com. So let's go and check if the changes have arrived. Our repositories go to the repo. And there you go. So the readme file now has this line, new lines of code, which I just wrote. If you click here on the commits, you can see the last commit has the commit message that was just done. First change on local machine. This is what we just wrote and we're done. 